Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and it's Saturday so I'm back with another slasher review as part of the Horror Man's Slashback Slasher Challenge series and this week's theme is a theme that I've been nagging Joe to do for weeks now so Joe, thank you so much for finally getting around to doing this theme and that of course is Foreign Slashers now this is a particular movie that I've been wanting to review pretty much ever since the challenge started and since it's a foreign slasher, now is the time to do it, obviously. So, yes, now I can finally get around to reviewing Dream Home. So Dream Home is a Chinese slasher set in Hong Kong, Cantonese language, English subtitles. And this movie centers around Chen. She's a young woman and she's pretty much obsessed with living in a particular apartment block overlooking the sea. Um, as a child, she used to live in a more of a rundown apartment overlooking the sea, but then construction came in and other stuff was built blocking her view, and ever since then she's pretty much been obsessed with a particular apartment block so she can finally have that sea view once again. She works multiple jobs, she's been saving for years, and the apartment dream always just seems out of reach so she can't take it anymore she's had enough she's desperately wanting this particular apartment and she's pretty much willing to do whatever it takes to get the price reduced even if it includes murder so that is pretty much the plot and the storyline for this one now I'll move on to what I think so I'm sure a lot of you already know my thoughts on this one I absolutely love this slasher i think it's absolutely amazing and it's definitely in my top five modern slashes of all time so first and foremost i guess we'll talk a little bit about the location now the location honestly like it does play a pretty key part in this film because it's all about this particular sea view apartment but i will say um it doesn't really play a key role like certain other slashes like camp slashes for example but the location is pretty cool and it's definitely awesome that it takes place in a foreign city being Hong Kong so you have um, cultural elements as well to do with the location which is pretty awesome so yeah the location while I didn't think it was kind of the forefront of the film it's definitely there and it's sort of definitely what the movie is centered around this particular apartment that Chen wants. So I did like the location from a foreign city and cultural standpoint. Chen as a character is absolutely fantastic. Now, it's this slasher is very, very character driven. So it's pretty much all really focused on Chen and the particular apartment that she wants. So the focus is pretty much on her, her story and her character. Now the movie actually plays out in a pretty interesting way and a very very unique way for a slasher because it's also pretty story driven so we get a lot of um, the story done via flashbacks of Chen's childhood and just her life in general and how hard she's trying to save for this apartment and I really, really liked that because you definitely felt um, a lot of sympathy for Chen via these flashback storylines. And these flashback storylines were kind of broken up with the slasher elements. The slasher elements take place over the course of one pretty late evening, which I definitely like. There was like a little timer, so you kind of knew um, where she was at at particular times when she was doing all the slashing and killing in this apartment block and yeah it was kind of intertwined with the flashback storyline and I thought that was a pretty unique and interesting way to tell the story especially in a slasher when a slasher is normally not story driven whatsoever however this one is and I really liked that it definitely worked and as I said you definitely felt sympathy for Chen's character despite how psychotic um, she ended up turning out to be so I really, really liked that. Um, this one had some really good supporting characters as well. There was no really weak characters or acting within this film. And they were all really, really good. So, yeah, the acting was top-notch. And, yeah, Chen was absolutely 
phenomenal. The other thing that I really liked about this one is the fact that Chen is a female. You don't really get that too often in a slasher in terms of the killer, so definitely pretty unique in that aspect as well. Now we'll get on to the kills. The kills in this movie are absolutely amazing. They are incredible. It's very, very brutal. It's extremely nasty. You pretty much see everything on screen, which is awesome. And there's a lot of blood and gore. This one is very, very gory. And they don't shy away from that. So props to that. This movie probably has the most realistic looking kills that I have ever seen in a slasher. And that's saying a lot because I have seen hundreds of slashes. So yeah, this one definitely has probably the most realistic looking kills that I have ever seen. The kills in this are just absolutely friggin' phenomenal. Um, this one has a pretty high body count. I think there's about 10 kills overall, so really, really solid body count. And there's good variety. Um, pretty much every kill is completely different. Uh, there's some pretty lengthy ones as well. And yeah, you pretty much see every single thing. So the kills in this, high body count, and the kills are absolutely phenomenal. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say on Dream Home. I think it is a fantastically done foreign slasher. It blends in a storyline and character development with slasher elements really, really well. And it just makes for a pretty unique and different slasher experience. So, yeah, if you've seen Dream Home, definitely let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And if you haven't seen this one, obviously from this review, I definitely highly recommend it. I love it, it's one of my favourite modern slashes of all time, so this one definitely gets my highest recommendation. So there you go guys, that's been my review for Dream Home. Once again Joe, thank you so much for um, doing my recommendation, I really really appreciate it. I've been wanting to review this pretty much ever since the challenge started, so yeah, thanks a lot. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this week's review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and until next week when I'm back with another one, thanks for watching.